Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. And terrible accents are us. See, I don't forget things. Main menu. What does that do? Oh, I have things. The main menu grants quick and easy access for to most of the game's main features. Disable all active help windows. Selecting journal under duty displays correct. Blah, blah, blah. Neat. Pressing M on the keyboard. Selecting the minimap or selecting map under travel from the main menu will bring up the area map. Important quests used to tell the story of Yorza and her people are called main scenario quests. Well, all right. I mean, I probably could figure that out. Um, oh, we need to talk to Skainrail. Hi, Skainrail. You wish to visit Bulwark Hall below? The crow's lift is ready when you are. Yep, take me down. Take me down, Captain. Something like that. Limsa Lominsa, the lower decks, as it loads. There's a lot of stuff on this screen going on, like my Wi-Fi connection, I guess. This LT thing. It's apparently... Oh, it is 6.15 p.m. Peculiar herb. <gasps> Let's follow the herbs. Go pick it up. We're hunting herbs. It's basically like living in California. <laughs> I made it funny. I'm joking. <laughs> a crescent moon... <laughs> Crescent moon icon will appear to the right of the experience bar whenever you enter a sanctuary. Say, ah, say, I can't read. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> the bonus will continue to grow even if you are offline. Oh, end all games in the sanctuary, I guess. On some quests, you will encounter objects with, okay, you know what, I figured that out. <laughs> some of these are a bit silly. <laughs> yes. And here you can see this giant rock protruding from the ground. It is what keeps this giant cave station and from falling on our heads. I hope you can appreciate what this means, meow. That's what she was saying as she gestured. To the, she was probably gesturing to the, the crow's lift, but uh, from my angle it looked like she was pointing at the giant circular thing in the middle of the ground. Hello, peculiar herb. Pick that up. Pick it. Jana Jana okay. All right, Old Skiff. We need to talk about your name because it is very odd. Yes, I am Old Skiff. You have some herbs you wish for me to examine? Yep, these ones. Wait, what do I do? I just eat? Oh, okay, there we go. Drag and drop. <laughs> Sir, I need you to lower your hand, maybe like three feet. Yes, as you expected. Or suspected. These are the highly illegal blooms known as dream flowers. They are the prime ingredient in the creation of Somnus, a substance whose fragrance is said to lull the sniffer's mind into the sleep of death. Forgive me, I could not resist the jest. Those herbs are not more than alphic lavender, a common enough export from Limsa Lominsa. In fact, these probably spilled from crates that were loaded onto my very own ship. I think someone has been having a bit of fun with you, miss. But not to worry. You've learned a few things and made a few acquaintances. Well met. Hmm. Are you sure they're lavender? If they're from your ship, you could be lying, Old Skiff. Old Skiff, captain of the trading ship Orion, has some information that might benefit your standing as an adventurer. By way of thanks for delivering my scattered lavender, I have a nugget of information that may prove useful to you. You see, I was recently approached by an unkempt seafarer, which is not, I admit, particularly unusual for a man in my profession. What was unusual was that he offered a generous sum of gill to be introduced to any adventurers I might know. In my experience, sailors are not known to carry such a wealth of coin about their person, especially with the alehouses of Limsa Lominsa so close at hand. Kidnappings have not been uncommon for these past moons. I suggest you take this information and speak to Glasrail, the guard who stands at the entrance to East Hawker's Alley. It never hurts to show a spirit of cooperation to the authorities, lass. Neat. All right, you know, I'm getting these uh, these items of information, and I don't think I can do... They're not, I don't think they're very helpful. Some items can be used, granting various blah, 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 blah. Thank you. Some quests will require you to blah, 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 blah. All right. <laughs> Figured that one out on my own. Let's go touch this thing. Eeh, whoa. Oh, that was adorable. Touch it. I believe in you. Touch it. Yeah. We are attuning ourselves to it, and they are dancing. In sync, man. 
Ah, another novice adventurer. I, Badaron, has sent more than a few of your kind this way of late. Oh, I thought it was a woman and it was a man. <laughs> Never mind, we're not going to change it. I am Sundimhal, one of the Yellow Jackets tasked with keeping the peace in the city. It is also my charge to provide guidance in the use of this device. If you're not, I shall be brief. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not funny. <laughs> Aetherites are crystalline structures that tap into ethereal energies. They are primarily used as a means of travel, a uh, means to travel swiftly from one place to another. Return and teleport, the most common transportation spells, make direct use of the, a the aetherites and their connection to the flow of ether. Oh, we're fine. And as these devices are found in almost every corner of Eorsa, any adventurer worth worthy of the name will wish to seek out and attune herself to each one. Once you have expanded your horizons beyond the walls of the city, you will soon find yourself performing the act of attunement as a matter of course. There is, however, no need for unseemly haste. The Aetherites found in and around the city will be sufficient for the present, I assure you. Should you wish to learn more about Aetherites or transportation magic, I will be here to answer your questions. Well, thanks, bud, but I think I got the gist of it, and I don't really want a history of this massive crystal. You attune with the Aetherite. You are now able to use the return spell. Brilliant. Spell return can be used to instantly travel back to the Aetherite. Set is your home point. Casting the spell does not require any MP and can be accessed by selecting return under travel from the main menu. Or, no, that's ruin. This is play guide, teleport, return, and sprint. Oh, neat. All right. Uh, what else? Yeah. <laughs> just all sorts of people just chilling and hanging out and dancing, and it's, it's pretty cool. Janash. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Y'all need more pronunciable. Pronunciable? Yeah. Maybe it's just me. Excuse me, miss, but might you have a moment or two to spare? You seem the type who enjoys being accosted for menial tasks, and I require someone to make a delivery to the dutiful sisters of Edelweiss. I wouldn't be surprised if you hadn't heard of them. The sisters prefer not to advertise their presence here in Limsa Lominsa. They do, however, provide a rather unique service of which the Bruguer Consortium has recently been the beneficiary. I would have you deliver this package to their doorman, Lon Ward, along with our profuse gratitude. Ooh, that was quite a mouthful. But sure, meows and moogie. Can I hide this? It would be great to be able to hide this, at least for now. Display world name, enable blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Lip sync? I guess not. Enable log window, nope. Dang it. I guess not. Oh well. It's fine, I guess. There's a lot going on this screen. Is there any way to hide any of this? Like... Oh, I have an idea. Oops. Sorry. That is gone. Alright, there. Now, now I am making use of the screen. <laughs> and it doesn't look so awful. Alright, there we go. Now what? I have a couple of things this way. Something that way. Sweetnik's Rosy Cheeks. Fantastic name. Goblin Merchant. Good lord. That's what that's what it is. Sweetnik's is beauteous, gobby, and crafty. Crafty smart trade maker. Sweetnik's makes busy deal with uplanders. Need deliver letter to gate of hmm, Mirvan. But Sweetnik's has shiver shakes. Uplander walks to gate of Mirvan for sneak sweet. Sweet Nix? I don't know what's wrong with me. Uplander delivers letter to tax lady Patasia. Okay, you know, these letters that are just kind of <laughs> smashed together, they're not helping. There's a fairy. I want a fairy. Glazril! That is disturbing news. Your initiative is appreciated, adventurer. I'll have the captain place the yellow jackets on high alert. Ah, and while I have your ear, I need you to visit... Alright, now they're just making stuff up. Fridwib, and tell her the same thing you told me. You'll find her a bit further down East Hawker's Alley. Fridwib has frequent dealings with adventurers, so any warning you give her should soon spread through the city. You know, I will say that is kind of a minor complaint for me, and I, I know that sounds really goofy. 
But if you're gonna have a fantasy universe, one of the biggest rules is making sure that people can pronounce the names in your fantasy universe. Swazblant. A fine evening to you, madam. Welcome to the most replete marketplace in the grand realm of yours, uh, where every shelf groans under the weight of wonders. But I'm gonna be in this city for the next 20 episodes, just talking to people. Where every shelf groans under the weight of wonders born from all four corners of the world. All right. If you guys don't want me to read all this stuff, post in the comment section below. It'll be like three episodes before I finally see you telling me not to do it, but just post it in the comment section below. Like I said, it'll be like three episodes, but I, I will remember. Now, as much as I would love to elaborate upon the unrivaled quality of our merchandise, I must tend to some cargo but recently arrived at the docks. Hmm? You bear a gift from Baderon. Whatever could it- Ah! My octant! By the navigator, I must have left it behind in the wench, along with a week's pay and several bells worth of intoxicated memories. He goes, sir? Alright, I don't know why I pressed cancel. That was... Alright, you know what? I'm sorry. Let me try that again. Hand over. <laughs> that was goofy. I am most grateful to have it back. This tool is a keepsake from my days as a ship captain, you see. Needless to say, your good deed must be repaid. And what better recompense than the wisdom of a master merchant? If it is simple and sturdy adventuring equipment you seek, I bet Balderon freaking stole that, that thing from him so that he could send any new adventurers his way and be like, <laughs> Now he shall help them. You need look no further than the east and west arms of Hawker's Alley. Lest you doubt, each gill you invest in arms and armor will be money well spent. Adventuring is, after all, a dangerous profession by its very nature. It goes without saying that Hawker's Alley boasts stalls specializing in the tools of every martial dis discipline imaginable. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to quit reading just so that I can give my mouth a rest. But with and within but a few steps are bazaars and apothecaries that will most amply supply all your potion and perishable needs. Our keen-eyed ad agents procure a frankly befuddling range of wares during their sojourns to distant shores, so it pays to become familiar with the type and price of the goods offered by each stall. Such knowledge will serve you well if your purse is light or your time is short. Wow, thanks, man. You people talk a lot. <laughs> That's what she says. Ah, but verbal instruction of this kind will only profit you so much. Experience has ever been the surest teacher, if not the kindest. I invite you to explore the markets for yourself. If you make me talk to everyone, I swear to goodness gracious. She's like, oh my god, more people to talk to. Alright. Um, Alright, here's... Um, Swell's Blit has another one. Swazblate wants you to look into current market prices. You miss, adventurer. I have work for you. I would have you pose as a customer and survey the market's current prices. Surely I do not see you balk at so simple a task. All you need do is strike up a conversation with the shop owners and glance over their wares. There are three merchants that interest me. Iron Thunder, Kyo Kyo Rune, and... Siney Hill. Write down all you see on this price list and hand it to... Alright, now seriously, this is getting ridiculous. Bane Sing on West Hawker's Alley. He shall reward you for your service. Neat. I would like to speak with you, Fridwib. Greetings, miss. Might I interest you in the services of a retainer? What's this? Some suspicious seafarer is on the prowl for gullible adventurers? A possible suspect in the recent kidnappings, you think? Well, lassie, thanks for telling me. What's that? A boy is stuck in a well? Well, I'll be sure to pass on that warning to my customers. What with all the merchants and travelers milling through Hawker's Alley, these kinds of unsavory activities can often go unnoticed. In any case, I promise to keep a sharp lookout for anyone being accosted by strange-looking sailors. Well, thanks. I am glad I took the time to do that. I, I will actually be here for like 20 episodes if I just keep this up. Who did you want me to talk to? Iron Thunder. Well, that's last blah blah blah. Oh, did I, I did I look over it? Where's the quest? Visit the Arcanist's Guild, deliver the package, the dutiful sisters. Oh, I spoke with him. Okay, nothing. Speak with Kyo 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 Rune. We're not we're not gonna do everything. I've decided this. It's just ridiculous. 
Although, if you guys want me to, like I said, post in the comment section below, and I mean, I'll do what I can. Aetherit shard. Do I need to click on this? Did I miss any? You now have Aethernet access to Hawker's Alley. Neat. Alright, cool. Oh my goodness. Blah. Alright. Summoning bell. I don't know what that means. Kyokaroon. Kyokaroon welcomes. Welcome customer. Kyokaroon loves his lovely trait. Kyokaroon's goods are goodly made. Alright, neat. Thanks for talking with me. Sinihill, Sinihill, Tiny Hill. A fine evening to you, miss. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I think he said something funny, but uh, I, I didn't read it. Bane Sing, with the cool hair. You're the one that made a list of for Swole's Blitz. Let's have it, then. I like how they spell out everything so I know what they're looking for. Nothing wrong with the markets, as far as I can tell. He's Jamaican, too. You oft times get pirates st selling stolen goods at cutthroat prices, and that drives the numbers down right across Orca's Alley. Thanks, for these thanks to these reports, though, we can tell it's a glance when shady dealers are taking place. Good work, lass. Well, thanks. I'm glad I did that. Where am I going? Okay, that's... Oh, map. And I'm here. And this is... Malevon's Gate. Alright, we can keep going then. I don't have a sprint. Whee! Ooh, that is really pretty. <gasps> I love pirate ships, and ships in general. Oh, do I have to go through this? Nope, it opens for me. How fancy. Pataja. Where is, where is Sweet Nicks with those import records? Well, guess what? I'm not Sweetnix, but I have the import records. Why, these are Sweetnix's records. Honestly, you would think that goblin would have lost his fear of our offices by now. Well, he's afraid of the office. As long as one follows proper procedure, Limsa Lumens is quite welcoming of foreign traders. Okay. Neat. Thanks. I want one of whatever that is. This game is really pretty. Oh, God. Where's the door? There it is. I found it. Nope. There's stuff to do. Pataja of Malvin's Gates needs help collecting duty. Collecting duty? Why does she need duty? Oh, it's been 17 minutes. All right. So, we are making the runaround of Limsa Lomensa, but hey, we're getting places. Story. Adventure. Excuse me. Burping. All right, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to comment if you want me to read all of the story quests and, and these little bubbles. I'm going to try and speed through them because... There is a lot, all right? There is a lot. We had like 16 minutes full of just reading. I mean, if you're interested in all that, then I don't mind me doing horrible accents. I don't mind. I just, in the interest of saving time and four billion episodes, I might skip through these a little bit. So I'll see you guys in the next time. Bye.